back to another video. Oh, oh, oh. And today we are doing a him inspired look. Now, if you don't know who him is, he is a character from the Pop of Girls. He is a villain. He is literally the devil in a pair of thigh high boots. And that is iconic. So, first thing I did off camera was I applied this. Uh, I took an extension and I cut it. <laughs> and I made like a little beard. And I used some got to be glue spray. And I just sticked it to my face. Um, and then also what I did was put in my contacts and I did the white underneath my eye. It's a little crusty, but that's okay. Now I'm just blocking up my brows. And now just taking some red and I'm gonna do my base color. Pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. Now taking some white, I am going to do my highlight areas. Basically with this version of him, I wanted to really do a, I guess you could say like draggy version of him, like very drag, very like, you know, like he wakes up in the morning and he puts on like a whole face of like thick makeup. That's what I wanted. <laughs> really like exaggerated. You really want to exaggerate the features. So I'm just taking some white, blending it to do my highlighting to really make it pop, as you can see here. And then once I do that, I just powder it to really, like I said, make it pop. Now after we do the highlighting areas, I'm going to take this uh, Meron Bruise Wheel and I'm going to take the what is it, the maroon? I don't know, some burgundy shit. And <laughs> I'm just gonna use it as a contour. Now, I was going to do like a bluish purpley color, but it looked a little too black. I was like, mm, that looks a little, a little muddy. What in blend? What look right? So I said, let's go with burgundy. And burgundy works best. Um, so I just used it on my cheeks to contour, and I'm using it on my nose. Whoa, that didn't make sense. I'm using it on my nose and basically blend it out. Also with the nose, I kind of went higher from the tip of my nose bridge to make my nose look like it was longer than what it is. He has a very long nose. Now I just took some white, put it down the center and do my highlight on my nose and I'm just blending that out. Now going in with some eyeliner, I'm going to do my eyebrows. He has very like villainy, dramatic eyebrows. So I felt like we gotta go for it. So I'm just taking my time, really doing the task, really making sure. That, that's not that's not what we wanted. What, what, what is happening? Stop it! Stop it! No, no. Um, ciao. Anyway, so I went off camera and I finished the eyebrows because I could not do it in my little handheld mirror. It was not working. So basically, I just try to make it as like. I don't know, personalized, I guess, because he has really thin eyebrows. I just made it my own. So now I'm gonna take some white and I'm doing this as my new eyelid, quote unquote. And basically I'm going to take this palette here from, what is it called again? Whatever. I'm taking this purpley shade and I'm just doing it on the outer corner. Um, originally I was going to do like a purple on the outside and like something in the middle and then do like a glitter at the end, but I was like, you know what, that's too much. So I just did purple on the outside and once we get past the purple, you will see that I took like the, it's actually this like monochrome shimmery pink. Um, it worked pretty great and I kind of liked it. It kind of was a nice transition from purple to pink. So now that the eyes are done, I'm basically just doing my lips. I'm going to do like a really pointed kind of lip, like a brand new lip. Cause he has like this really like curvy, 
mischievous smile so I'm kind of like elongating my lips to make them curve up more when I smile to give me more of that like evil mischief look and just fill it in with black Now taking this kaleidoscope highlight palette, I am going to take like this pinky, like this pinkish, whatever this color is. It, it doesn't have names. It's just colors. I don't know. Don't ask me. What's this called? I don't know. I don't know. It's just pink. Um, and I'm going to put it on my cheeks. And now the tricky part, <laughs> which I've never done before, <laughs> I'm going to take some eyelashes and put them on. How do I do this? I think this is an off camera thing. I, I don't know. I'll be back. So after going off camera, you do your eyelashes, maybe do hair. I decided to do hair, give them more of like a human look. Well, not human, more of like real life look. Um, and yeah, and I put a little widow's peak on this iconic widow's peak. And there you go, your him costume. Um, this is really fun, really simple. Well, not simple. I lied. That, that was a lie. That, this is not simple. This took quite some hours. <laughs> but yeah, it's really pretty, I think. You know, if I think if him was human in like a 3D world, this is what he would look like. 100%. So, um, yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure you thumbs up, comment below, and tell me who's your favorite character from Top of Girls. Obviously, I have a favorite. If you haven't figured it out by now if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button because that type subscribe i become a little bit more magical and don't forget to hit that bell notification to be the first person to watch the video when it first comes out because i have plenty more in store for you you don't want to miss it so yeah as always thank you for watching and i'll see you all next time bye